Good evening. Please do sit down. As Vice-Chancellor of the University, it is my pleasure to welcome you to this evening's ceremony for the School of Engineering and Technology and our University Joint Honours graduates. May I introduce the platform party and welcome on my right, Mr. Graham Blythe, who will be receiving the honorary degree of a Doctor of Science. And on my far right, Professor John Senior, Professor of Communication Networks and Pro Vice Chancellor for Research. On my immediate left, Dr. Stephen Boffey, Pro Vice Chancellor for Regional Affairs. And on my far left, Professor Reza Sotadeh, Dean of the School of Engineering and Technology. May I also particularly welcome our graduates, their relatives and friends to this evening's ceremony. We will now proceed with the conferment of awards, and I have pleasure in calling upon Professor Sotade to read the citation for conferment of the honorary award of Doctor of Science on Mr. Graham Blythe. Vice Chancellor, it is my pleasure to present for the award of honorary Doctor of Science, Mr. Graham Blythe. The innovative design work of British audio engineer Graham Blythe during the 1970s and 1980s had a significant impact on the music industry. Graham was also instrumental in bringing widespread recognition and jobs to Hertfordshire. When in 1988 he sold his company Soundcraft Electronics to Harman International Industries, whose UK headquarters are in Potters Bar. Graham's interest in sound and music started early and has been a passion ever since. He took piano lessons at the age of four and later gained a junior scholarship to Trinity College of Music in London, where he also studied the organ, gaining a performance diploma from the Royal College of Organists. He graduated in electrical engineering at the University of Bristol, and while there, he founded the Student Music Society, conducting Bach's complex masterpiece St. Matthew Passion in his final year. His first job was in research and development at Compton Organs, where he became skilled at laying out printed circuit boards. In his spare time, he helped to create a large mixing desk for Emerson, um, Emerson Lake and Palmer, to use at the legendary 1970s Isle of Wight Festival. In subsequent jobs, Graham was involved in designing and constructing mixes and loudspeakers for many of the great bands of the time, including T-Rex and 10 years after. However, Graham was intent on developing his own brand of mixes and in 1973 co-founded Soundcraft Electronics. The company quickly made its mark with the launch of the first mixing console built into a, into a carrying case. The Series 1S, as it was known, became a hit with touring bands and emerging PA companies with rented out sound equipment. The company expanded, diversifying into designing mixes for recording and became well known for establishing what is often referred to as the classic British uh, EQ sound. When Soundcraft was sold to Harman International Industries in 1988, Graham stayed on as technical director and created many successful product ranges. His designs are widely recognized for their ease of use, simplicity of design, and their superb audio quality. The company sold more than 120,000 Spirit by Soundcraft mixes and over a period of 20 years produced around 6 million of Graham's transformerless microphone preamplifier circuits. Graham continues to innovate in his role as technical director at Soundcraft, Studer in Potter's Bar, putting his success down to having an inquiring mind. The company currently employs around 140 people at its Cranbourne House facility. Graham has also become involved in the design of digital organs, 
and is regarded as a leader in his specialist field. Graham has been hugely influential in establishing the university's close association with Soundcraft and the Harmon Group. In the mid-1990s, for example, we collaborated with Soundcraft on developments in ergonomic mixing consoles and noise cancellation. In 2005, Graham supported a joint venture between our organizations to update all Soundcraft's production and testing team from analog background to digital skills and experience. The Harmon Group supports our School of Engineering and Technology in a number of ways. As well as staff exchange visits and providing teaching equipment, it sponsors annual prizes for student projects in our music technology and our electronic engineering degree pathways. Graham has lectured on electronics for our music technology course and is a valuable contributor to the design and delivery of future programs incorporating audio and electronic engineering. He's also an active member of both of school's industrial advisory group and its industrial certification committee. His contribution to the School of Engineering Technology has significantly improved student experience in highly specialized and niche areas. What many people don't realize about Graham is that he's an active organist and conductor, and in parallel with his career in audio engineering, has pursued his interest in performance. During the 1990s, he furthered his musical, musical studies on both piano and organ, gaining performance diplomas from both the Royal College of Music and Trinity College of Music, and has given concerts on some of the finest organs in Europe and America. In Oxfordshire, where he lives, he's director of Wantage Summer Festival and also hosts concerts at the 80-seat recital hall he had built next to his home. As one of the world's most respected audio engineers, Graham was awarded Fellowship of the Royal Society of Arts in 2006 and Fellowship of the Audio Engineering Society in 2007. Graham is a friend to the School of Engineering and Technology, an advocate of electronic engineering, a proponent of our industry advisory group, and a credit to the profession. Vice Chancellor, in recognition of his long and distinguished career in audio engineering, and his pioneering work in promoting leading edge electronic design to the music industry, I'm delighted to present for the award of honorary doctor of science, Mr. Graham Blythe. I now call upon Dr. Dr. Blythe to address the assembly. <clears throat> Vice Chancellor, Professor, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, um, I have a slightly embarrassing confession to make. It's now out of the bag in that you know I work just down the road in Potter's Bar, but I haven't been here for 46 years. The last time I was here, I was up there um, turning pages for a very clever friend from Trinity College of Music, and it's really nice to be back in this beautiful building. Firstly, I want to congratulate the young engineers who received their degrees tonight. Over several years, I've interviewed a number of students from Hearts University as part of the assessment of their industrial placements. I was consistently impressed by their self-confidence and sense of where they were going. I went up to Bristol University in 1966 with absolutely no idea about where I was going or how to get there. I found many fellow undergraduates who, like me, felt they were at university to grow up and find themselves just as much as they were there to learn. Things today do seem very different. I was very surprised and absolutely delighted to be offered the honorary doctorate. But it raised the obvious question, so what have I done to deserve this? I believe I've been incredibly lucky in my career. Starting with no plan, things just seem to happen in a fortuitous way. After graduation, I met a man called Bill Kelsey at Compton Organs, who I considered to be my mentor. Bill introduced me to audio electronics 
and the concept of elegance in design. This was a very interesting and thought-provoking word to use, having relevance to almost every part of the design process. Working with Bill, I found that I had an innate grasp of technical concepts, which allowed me to adapt existing designs to suit my purposes. This was fun, and I had the urge to do my own thing. So I left Bill, went back home to Surrey, and built my own mixer, mostly using the basics I learned from Bill, but taking a different approach to the design of the equalizer. Having built it, I had no idea what to do with it, and then I got lucky again. I was introduced to a friend in the power, by a friend in the power ant business to Phil Dudridge, a young man who seemed to understand marketing and sales, and was then in partnership with a loudspeaker designer. Fast forward 18 months, and we were in business together, focusing just on mixers, on the top floor of the Fender Soundhouse in Tottenham Court Road in London, with an off-the-shelf limited company that we renamed Soundcraft. The timing was perfect. We were in at the beginning of a period of astonishing growth in the live sound industry, and one of our first products, a 16-input mixer built into a flight case, became an instant must-have amongst the London bands. Phil took one of these as personal luggage to the States, schmoozed his way onto someone else's exhibition stand at the NAMM show, and lo and behold, we had a US distributor and that enormous market opened to us. This was a very great moment. I shall talk a little bit about the technology. When I started, everything was done with discrete transistors, which are wonderful things, and about which I knew the basics from university. There are two fundamental types, known as NPN and PNP. You can put these together to make a conjugate pair, which is also a wonderful thing. And it might be fair to say that I've built a career out of it, a little twist on the concept being the basis of my simple transformless mic preamp design. There were also things called operational amplifiers. And while they were available back in the early 80s, they were far too slow though today they are the building blocks of analog audio. These early mixing consoles, all made out of discrete transistor stages, sounded really lovely. They had more distortion than is expected today, but this distortion is gentle and increases smoothly with level, making the kind of retro product much desired these days as live and recording engineers seek something with warmth rather than clinical perfection that can go sadly wrong when you overdrive it. Today, all but the smallest mixing consoles are predominantly digital. But there is still a serious need for analog engineers in this digital world. Apart from the obvious requirements for mic amps and outputs, ones and zeros are not that black and white, and I could bore for England on the subject of clock distribution. I still thoroughly enjoy the engineering life because with constantly changing technology comes fresh challenges, and I can honestly say that I'm learning something new all the time. Finally, a huge thank you to Hearts University for recognizing my work so far. It's been a roller coaster ride, but the fat lady isn't singing yet. Thank you very much. We shall now receive the graduates of the School of Engineering and Technology and University Joint Honours. Candidates are presented by a senior member of academic staff from their school. I first call upon Professor Yi Thuan San uh, from the uh, School of Technology. Faculty of Science, Technology and Creative Arts, Banga Adito Quimbo, OG has been awarded the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in recognition of a program of work entitled Design and Performance Analysis of Distributed Space-Time Coding Schemes for Cooperative Wireless Networks. Vice Chancellor Dr. Banga Adequimbo OG.
Doctor of Philosophy, Wen Chun Wang has been awarded the degree of a Doctor of Philosophy in recognition of a program of work entitled Design Analysis of an Energy Efficient Dehumidification System for Drying Applications. Vice Chancellor, Dr. Wen Chun Wang. School of Engineering and Technology. Master of Engineering degree in Aerospace Engineering. Kieran Daniel Gracia. Adam Salah Hassan. With first class honors, Mahmoud Safat Khan. <laughs> Ghanai Oza. <laughs> Master of Engineering degree in Aerospace Systems Engineering. With first class honors, Ben Butters. With first class honors, Ashley Nyakandi. <laughs> Master of Engineering degree in Automotive Engineering with Motorsport. With first class honors, Stephen James Baldock. With first class honors, Dominic Peter Bennett. With first class honors, Kimberly Rebecca Buckley. With first class honors, Claire Gemma Clitheroe. With first class honors, Darrell Crane. With first class honors, Daniel Gordon. With first class honors, Jamie Kelly Harrison. With first class honors, Jonathan Last. <laughs> Simon Lee. <laughs> Liang Wu Lo. <laughs> Lee James Marshall. With first class honors and winner of a university prize, James Aubrey Nevins. <laughs> With first class honors, David Jack Smallwood. <laughs> Master of Engineering degree in mechanical engineering. Shayem Pankana. <laughs> With first class honors, Alexander William Wainwright.
Bachelor of Engineering degree in Aerospace Engineering, Abdul Razak Abu Baker. <laughs> Mohamed Afrasiabi. <laughs> With first class honors, Mohamed Omar Bashir. James Anthony Carter. <laughs> Pak Ho Chan. <laughs> With first class honors, Suad Chedi. <laughs> Adura Maduri Hassan. With first-class honours and winner of the Royal Aeronautical Society Prize, Joshua Carl Katzenberg. <laughs> Dwani Prakash Kumar Kutandi. Mukti Limbu. <laughs> With first class honours and winner of a university prize and winner of the Institution of Mechanical Engineers Frederick Barnes Waldron Best Student Award and winner of the Royal Aeronautical Society Hatfield Branch R.E. Bishop Aerospace Design Prize, Samuel Richard Lindsay. M.A. Moim. <laughs> Kieran James Murphy. <laughs> Umbongeni Undelobu. <laughs> Thwankamaline Norman. Elirio Lua Oyafara. <laughs> Stephen Paul Sisman. <laughs> Brendan John Roberts Wheeler. <laughs> Diploma of Higher Education, Solomon Mukibi. Bachelor of Engineering degree in Aerospace Engineering with Space Technology, Vanessa Ravina De Silva. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering degree in Aerospace Systems Engineering, Rowan Aditya. <laughs> Robert Elliott Apple. Prabuddha Lukshan Atorda. <laughs> Lizzie Terry Marie Dodd. <laughs> With first class honours, Kamal Hussein. Leonine Fungai Kunzwa. <laughs> With first class honours, Saeed Arman Riazad Mashruk. <laughs> With first class honours, Mohammed Mudatir Osman Mukhtar.
Casper Augustus Rodriguez. Stacey Ward. Bachelor of Engineering degree in Aerospace Systems Engineering with Pilot Studies, Zuvaya Urjan. <laughs> Zhao Win Htun. <laughs> Vengai Chazi. <laughs> Michael James Palmer. Bachelor of Engineering degree in Automotive Engineering, Raf Carlo Estabila. <laughs> With first class honours, Jamil Jan Shah. <laughs> Mohammed Siafiq bin Zainuddin. Diploma of Higher Education, Nanda Myo Mim. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering degree in Automotive Engineering with Motorsport, Alexander Edward Bennett. <laughs> Socrates Bogris. Mohammed Umar Hakim. <laughs> Kieran Davison Jitu Murugan. <laughs> Scott James Johnston. <laughs> With first class honours, Mark Jolly. Ryan Andre King. <laughs> With first class honours, Madhavi Koteka. <laughs> William McLean. <laughs> With first class honours, Horia Poram. Sandra Mohan Ramasamy. <laughs> Oliver Redoubt. <laughs> Robin Wynne Roberts. <laughs> Mira Viflani. Alexander Boris Zawada. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering degree in Mechanical Engineering. With first class honours, Haider Ali Abbas. <laughs> Adewunmi Adetolu. With first class honours, Christopher Brian Bailey. <laughs> Abudar Mohammed Bello Waziri. <laughs> With first class honours, Jonathan James Block. <laughs> Eromosaly Ebikosian. Victor Richard Gratchik. <laughs> With first class honours, Umar Hafiz. <laughs> With first class honours, Joshua J. Harlow. <laughs> Othonus Christos Kerasidis. Mohammed Hasib Khan.
with first class honours, Faik Hun Ku. With first class honours, Karamjit Singh Kundi. With first class honours, Ryan Trevor Lenham. With first class honours, Roshan Pyomol Leonaga. With first class honours, Rajifa Lakmin Nakandala. With first class honours, Mohammed Nabil Nazir. Emmanuel Babatunde Olayemi. With first class honours, Ming Ho Ong. Nashiv Rai. With first class honours, Ravidouf Ramphal. With first class honours, Babu Yuvraj Singh Salik. <laughs> Jasmit Singh. <laughs> With first class honours, Bo Su. <laughs> With first class honours, Elliot Taylor. With first class honours, Leonard Teo. With first class honours, Hao Wang. Shanaka Udaranga Wikramasinga Gunasekara. With first class honours, Chao Yu Zhang. Bachelor of Science degree in Aerospace Technology with Management. Elvis Kwaku Amaponza. <laughs> Shema Azuz. <laughs> Philip Nicholas Bilton. Arinda Singh Bowler. <laughs> Stephen Christopher Richard Broad. <laughs> With first class honours, Daniel Jeffrey Catley. Alice Emily Coles. Bradley Fletcher. Sina Gaffari. With first class honors, Michael Jeffrey John. Shafiq Kamaran Kanamal. <laughs> With first class honours, Daniel Leathers. <laughs> Oluseon Odutolu Odasanya. Hector Mikhail Policano Pimentala.
Carrie Juan Sepa. Colvir Singh Gakal. <laughs> Nivethan Turai Singham. <laughs> Samira Chataranga Wikarama Chaachi. With first class honours, Thomas John Williams. <laughs> Hitin Ong Win. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Aerospace Technology with Pilot Studies. Adi Soji, Adi Wanmi, Babajide Adibeo. <laughs> Solomon Ali Mayo. <laughs> Saif Al Jabora. Tiran Singh Baj. Jack Robert Catton. J. Aaron Edwards. Richard Thomas Martin Edwards. With first class honours, Paul Raymond Fennessy. <laughs> Richard Albert Fernandez. <laughs> Daniel Will William Hendon. With first class honours, Nicholas Sinan Hibbert. <laughs> Nicholas John Clewellyn Jones. <laughs> Mapani Makande Weary. Ali Ibrahim Natachi. <laughs> James Thomas O'Driscoll. <laughs> Alexander James Peak. <laughs> Jonathan Michael Adam Samuels. Mohammed Bilal Sheikh. <laughs> Juebu Shitimir. <laughs> Yusuf Anil Teskan. <laughs> Scott Wilson. Bachelor of Science degree in Aerospace Technology with Management. Rishma Rafi Fora. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Automotive Technology with Management. Mohi Adin Ahmed. <laughs> w 
with first class honours, Samuel Phillips Boxhall. Kirlis Halim. With first class honours, Daniel William Lee. Jonathan Malonzo. Prescient Kokulan Palani. Posthumous Award. Sadly, in 2012, Yogesh Kumar Ramesh Parma died towards the end of his final year of study. He was posthumously awarded a Bachelor of Science degree in second class honours, first division, in automotive technology with management. His certificate will be received by his parents, Mr and Mrs Palmer. Hine Patel. J. Rajnakant Patel. Meal Rajnakant Patel. Simon Richard Price. Vikram Sayuta. Daniel Paul Stretton. Samuel Townsend. Azanka Nawarup Uba Ukela. Michael David Wilson. Bachelor of Science degree in Motorsport Technology, Salah Ahmed. With first class honors, Harrison Daniel Armstrong. Adam Banks. With first class honours, Matthew Thomas Barnes. With first class honours, Daniel James Bishop. Thomas James Kane. With first class honours, Salvador Di Mario. With first class honours and winner of a university prize, Jack Charles Dudman.
Fatih Sarif Erkan. <coughs> Benjamin, <coughs> sorry, Benjamin ha Hansen. <coughs> With first class honours, William Jonathan Hoy. Abad Hassan. <laughs> Liam Brendan Ings. <laughs> With first class honours, Lawrence William Jones. Christopher Leonard Edward Lambert. <laughs> David Michael Lovegrove. <laughs> Thomas Declan Lowther. <laughs> Maturan Matia Manohara. With first class honours, Christopher Edward Miller. <laughs> Cafe Mon Farad. <laughs> Erkan Mustafa. <laughs> With first class honours, Kingsley Ohuka. <laughs> With first class honours, David William Ottaway. <laughs> With first class honours, Russell James Padden. With first class honours, Aaron Pitson. Adam Pollard. With first class honours, Logaraj Ramachandran. Christopher Sharkey. <laughs> With first class honours, David Matthew Souter. <laughs> Hiran Vasani. <laughs> Dylan Matthew Wedderburn. Ashley Williams. <laughs> Joseph John Withers. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering degree in Digital Communications and Electronics. Salmia Nadashani Aravawala Aravawala Koralalaga. <laughs> Shireen Minali Balapitia. <laughs> Godella Wataga Dinuka Priya Dashani Gunawardana. With first class honours, Shanima Praborda Silva Hanfana Divaga. <laughs> Zara Hassan. <laughs> Ali
Anushka Gayan, Jayamana Mohatika Don. With first class honours and winner of a university prize and winner of the Institute of Engineers and Technology Prize, Hughes, Kanda and Piana. With first class honours, Ashan Isuru Karuna Ratna. <laughs> Asno Tatenda Masuku. <laughs> Trina Mazunda. Roseanne Sharmini Ranasinga. <laughs> With first class honours, Kasala Gayanath Ranasinga Ranasinga Arachilaga. <laughs> Dilruan Ratnayaka. With first class honours and winner of the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineer Prize, China Wataga Nishan Shaminfa Rodrigo. <laughs> Nishant Shivaraza. Ravisan Father Palachandran. <laughs> Shiva Rupan Thiruna Bukhara Su. <laughs> Bachelor of Engineering degree in Digital Systems and Computer Engineering, Rasil Panthakalakath. Bachelor of Engineering degree in Electrical and Electronic Engineering, Adnan Abdul Bassett. <laughs> Salman Abdullah S. Al Gamdi. <laughs> Usman Asif. Ka He Ao. <laughs> With first class honours, Chukwudi Lazarus Abi. <laughs> Jiong Yi He. <laughs> Mataza Heshmatz. With first class honours, Anthony Robert James. <laughs> Naresh Joshi. <laughs> Asif Khan. <laughs> Jitesh Madaparia. Callum David Alexander McKinley. <laughs> Kior Min Mayat. <laughs> Chiazam Uche Okoya. <laughs> With first class honours, Okachukwu Enyuriba Onyandoro. <laughs> Ogechi Crystal Ozigbu. <laughs> 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 
with first class honours, Link Dante Powell. <laughs> Mud Mamunur Rahman. <laughs> Fahmeh Rashid. <laughs> Zaber Rizvi. Sabdata Sengupta. <laughs> Yang Shen. <laughs> Zongji Sun. <laughs> With first class honours, Adam Mark Tarpey. Sally Taspinar. <laughs> Wensu Zhu. <laughs> Chaodong Zhang. Bachelor of Science degree in Computer and Network Technology. Mohinda Singh Bara. <laughs> Dong Chen. <laughs> Chunongso Stanislas and Zanduka. <laughs> With first class honors, Tao Huang. <laughs> Nitesh Harish Kimani. <laughs> With first class honors, Ying Li. <laughs> Harrison Ajmudaro Ogibani. <laughs> With first class honors, Ojika Izuchuku. John Oluwasan Okuganya. <laughs> With first class honors, Tatiana Moda de Oliveira. <laughs> With first class honors and winner of a university prize, Charles Rory O. Emmanuel Olumai Iranlovo Oluwa Samuel. <laughs> Aminda Sandu. <laughs> With first class honors, Kai Wang. Diploma of Higher Education in Engineering, Kevin Huang Fringpong Manson. <laughs> Bachelor of Science degree in Digital Film and TV Technology, Yusuf Na Ali. <laughs> Sefton Monk.
with first class honors, Ivy Ajoma Akika. With first class honors, Harry Orsay. Aaron Pate. Shanice Abingo Pato. Jasper Singh Sara. Bachelor of Science degree in Games and Graphics Hardware Technology. With first class honors, Thomas Neil Boyard. With first class honors, Angus Alexander Hutton McKenzie. With first class honors, Danny McAllist. Bachelor of Science degree in Internet Technology with e-commerce, Thomas Andrew Zak. Bachelor of Science degree in Multimedia Technology. Nana Aguma Achumpu. <laughs> Sam Ates. <laughs> With first class honors, Rajiv Gurjar. Duncan Alexander Hershey. <laughs> Vincent Lemming Kanu. <laughs> Vikesh Govindji Karach. With first class honors, Yu Feng Li. <laughs> Ke Ma. <laughs> Ari Mustafa. <laughs> Sanjita Nandra. Takutsua Terence Tadenda Nyandoro Chiangwa. <laughs> Lee James O'Neill. <laughs> Apit Kuma Rajinkant Patel. <laughs> Benjamin James. Pickering Watson. <laughs> Michael Junior Ride. <laughs> Dashni Satish Shah. <laughs> Kiran Tarek. Goran Tikichi. <laughs> Mittal Prakash Basani. <laughs> Luke Kiran Anthony Wito. <laughs> Dr. 
Ding Xie. Xiao Tian Xu. With first class honors, Peng Zhao. <laughs> Diploma of Higher Education, Kasa Ali. <laughs> the following awards were achieved under the University Joint Honors Program Bachelor of Science degree. Red One Ahmed. <laughs> With first class honors, Rajib Ali. <laughs> With first class honors, Maximo Borti. <laughs> With first class honors, and a winner of a university prize, James Burke. <laughs> With first class honors, Davesh Bhutta. <laughs> With first class honors, Michael James Bignall. <laughs> Sun He Choi. <laughs> Timothy Jack Chrisman. <laughs> James Andrew Donald. Raziku Islam. <laughs> Joshua Ezra Japal. <laughs> Edward Kagutuzi. <laughs> Mohammed Imran Khan. With first class honors, Joy Lee May Martinez. <laughs> Devon Christopher Dyson Moore. Aaron Murazu. Amos Alusei Agulei. <laughs> Paula Akunzuwa. <laughs> Joe Robert Pickrell. With first class honors and winner of a university prize, Adam Christopher Skurrit. <laughs> Marvin Stewart. With first class honors, Luke Westwood. That concludes the presentation of awards. I now have pleasure in calling upon Ben Butters to address the assembly on behalf of the, gra of the graduates.
Vice-Chancellor, Dr Blythe, ladies and gentlemen. I'm generally not one for giving speeches, so I shall keep this short. I think I can safely say, on behalf of the graduates here today, that it is a great feeling to see the years of hard work come to fruition here today in this magnificent venue. However, we cannot solely take the credit for this achievement. We have all been helped and guided by a wide variety of staff at the University of Hertfordshire to enable us to get where we are today. I have been very lucky in my several roles at the university to see how far some staff go above and beyond the call of duty in order to give us the best experience possible. Some of these experiences and opportunities are easily identifiable, such as Formula Student and the Rocketry Club. There are also many more subtle instances where the staff have added real value to the university experience just through their core responsibilities. One instance that springs to mind was during the accreditation process for the degree programmes. I was informed by an international postgraduate student that they had considered withdrawing from their course because they had difficulty adjusting to the environment. However, through the pastoral support from Dr Leslie Mitchell, the student had been able to successfully continue with their studies. This is just one example of which there are many more by a wide range of staff, but unfortunately we do not have time to go through them all today. So I'd like to thank everyone at the University of Hertfordshire that have enabled us all to be here today at this graduation ceremony and wish everyone the best for the future. This just leaves me to thank the Vice-Chancellor for receiving the graduates of the School of Engineering and Technology and University Joint Honours graduates. Thank you. Ben, thank you very much for those kind words. It now rests with me to conclude the ceremony, uh, but I can't let you go without one, uh, I, I guess, final uh, word of advice from the university to our, our new graduates. And I want to, in uh, giving you this advice, firstly, uh, broach it around perseverance. And I want to use perseverance partly because some of you, I'm sure, have um, uh, demonstrated extraordinary perseverance just to get here today, so well done on that. But in particular because I think in future, when you go away from the university, you will of course need perseverance in everything that you do. Now, in talking about perseverance, uh, I, I think this year is one where I could have used so many examples uh, of perseverance because we of course have had that wonderful celebration in London this year of the Olympic Games and the Paralympics. Um, and I was interested, this probably is the only ceremony which we have in the university where the boys outnumber the girls. Uh, that said, I'm going to choose as my example of perseverance, my heroine, a woman who uh, uh, competed in this year's Olympic Games. Her name is Catherine Granger. Uh, I'm using her for several reasons, partly because my own sport is rowing and she was competing in the rowing events, but also, I have to say slightly because she's Scottish, um, <laughs> uh, uh, and so am I, but also because in particular, I think the perseverance that she has shown is perhaps uh, uh, greater than almost any of the other athletes uh, at the Olympics. Catherine was rowing in her fourth Olympic Games, having won a silver medal in her first in Sydney in 2000. Uh, of course, just to get to the Sydney Olympics, presumably she had been training for five or six years at a very, very high level, so it just showed extraordinary perseverance to get there. And I know that, that, that from my perspective and from the rowing community's perspective, her getting a silver medal in Sydney was a terrific achievement. We all thought it was absolutely marvelous. She then, of course, went on to Athens. Um, and I have to say, we were all just ever so slightly disappointed when she got another silver medal. Uh, after all that huge uh, work that she had put in to get to, to get to Athens, a second Olympic Games. She then, of course, got to Beijing, 
And some of you may remember this because it was an extraordinary race. She was actually in Beijing expected to win. Uh, and she was winning up until in her crew up until the last 100 meters. And the Chinese crew, a magnificent performance by the Chinese crew, overtook them in the last 100 meters and pipped her to the post, another silver. Now, for those of us who are mortal, I think that would have been enough. But not for Catherine. She persevered. Uh, she came back. I don't know if you recall the Beijing Olympics because at that point, you, you may have seen it on television, um, she finished the race and got out the boat utterly distraught. I mean, any, any of the rest of us having just won a silver medal would have been hugely elated, but obviously the history that went behind her particular achievement, she was utterly distraught. And uh, some of you may remember the, the photograph of Steve Redgrave acting as this great father of the, the rowing community, taking, in a, taking a, her in his arms and consoling her, almost inconsolable, I should say, at that point. So for this woman to have done all that and still to have had the desire to get a gold was extraordinary. But she trained for another four years, came to London, and I don't know if any of you managed to get to Dorney, Dorney Park, where the rowing event was. It was absolutely splendid. And I have to just perhaps at this point say, the whole Olympics, uh, I thought, were unbelievably good, both from uh, a, a perspective of the United Kingdom hosting uh, all these countries from around the world in such a wonderful way with the uh, terrific efforts of all our volunteers. It was just such a, a showcase for Great Britain. Dorney Park was equal to the Olympic Park. It was beautiful, crystal waters, um, fantastic stands. The whole place was buzzing with excitement, of course, especially by the time we got to the finals. And uh, Catherine Granger rowing with her colleague Anna Watkins uh, in the double skulls set off in the final of the double skulls event. And the steely look, because it was interesting, I don't know if you, you, uh, some of you would have seen it, they had a camera attached to a huge cable which ran the whole length of the, the course. So the camera was looking right in the boat, very, very close. And of course, she was in the middle lane because she'd done well in the heats. And she had this steely, steely concentration the whole way up the course. And it got to 1,000 meters, and they were now a length and a half ahead of the Australians who were, who were the second crew. And Anna Watkins was smiling. She knew they had won. But Catherine Granger, of course, having had that experience in Beijing where they'd been overtaken in the last 100 meters, wasn't quite so sure. So she was still giving it all her might right to the line. And of course they won. And it was a fantastic celebration. I think her demonstration of perseverance is something that will live with me forever. And I hope it will encourage you in your futures um, to persevere in whatever you do, and if you persevere, you will achieve your dreams. So can I congratulate all, and perhaps ask you all if you'll join with me in congratulating all our graduates one last time on such a fantastic achievement today. Well done. <laughs> And just before I let you go up to the Alban Arena where you can enjoy further celebration, can I just um, say I'm sure for many of the mums and dads and supporters who are here, you have had to persevere as well to get your loved ones here today. So congratulations to all of you. Well done. And congratulations finally also to my colleagues behind me who in some cases have also had to persevere. Well done. Now, if you would please be upstanding as the academic procession leaves the hall.